channel. I'm so happy to be back and I just wanted to say really quick thank you guys for all your love and prayers and support. I just wanted to let you know that everything is great. I am good and healthy and it was just a little hiccup so I'm back and ready to uh, cook for you guys and make videos and supporting all my favorite channels. So today we're gonna do a special meal. This was requested by one of my very good friends, the grumpy old gringo, and he requested me to do a meat lasagna. So today I'm gonna do a meat lasagna for you guys. Here's the list of ingredients you guys are gonna need. You're gonna need a pound of, I'm using mild Italian sausage. You guys can use uh, sweet, you guys can use original, you guys can use whatever your heart desires. Just a pound of Italian sausage. You're gonna need a pound of ground beef, I have 80-20. You're gonna need some fresh basil, some fresh Italian parsley. You're gonna need an onion, a few garlic cloves, a few eggs. You're gonna need some salt and pepper and some olive oil. You're gonna need some fresh mozzarella cheese, fresh parmigiano Reggiano parmesan cheese. You're gonna need some ricotta cheese. And then you're gonna need some good um, sauce. I'm using Cento by San Marzano. You're gonna need one large can of crushed tomatoes and then you're gonna need regular cans of tomato sauce. You're gonna also need some tomato paste. And then of course you're gonna need your star ingredient, your lasagna, so you're gonna need some lasagna noodles. And that's it guys, that's all you need to make Rexy's meat lasagna. So let's get cooking guys. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the meat sauce before we do the uh, ricotta filling. So all I'm gonna do is put my Dutch oven on medium high. I'm gonna let this get nice and hot. You're gonna just add a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon, a little less. And while this is getting hot, all I have here is one onion that I've diced uh, relatively small. I have some fresh Italian parsley, some uh, basil, fresh basil, which smells absolutely delicious. Uh, basil is one of my favorite herbs. Um, I have about five cloves of garlic that I've diced, uh, minced up, relatively small. So I'm gonna let this get nice and hot before I add the meat, and uh, we're gonna start browning the meat. All right, so this has gotten nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and add our meat. So the, the ground beef and then the ground um, sausage. We're just gonna break that up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown this uh, just for a minute before I add the uh, garlic and onions. Get it nice and incorporated, the two meats. I'm gonna let this uh, go for just a minute. And then we're gonna add our garlic and onions to it. All right, so at this point what we're gonna do after I've uh, played with my meat for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add the garlic. And I'm gonna let this cook for just a minute with the garlic, and then I'll add the onion. Turn that up just a little bit. It smells good already in here with the sausage and stuff. And of course the garlic. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add the onion. And we're gonna cook this down until the meat is fully brown. And the onion is uh, cooked down a little bit and translucent. So go ahead and add your onion. We're going to season it. Salt and pepper. We'll taste for seasoning, so we can always add two. Give that a nice mix. So I'm 
really glad to be back, guys. I missed you a lot, actually. I've read all your comments. Definitely overwhelming. Yeah, I cried a lot. <laughs> um, definitely felt all the love. So, again, thank you guys so much for the love and the prayers. Really means uh, the world to me, so. But I'm good. I'm healthy. Okay, so we're going to let this... Uh, now that I'm done being sappy, we're going to let this cook and get nice and brown and the onions nice and translucent. And I will be back in a minute or two to check it and uh, move on to the next step. So we're back, guys. All right, guys, that looks great. So at this point, now I'm using mild Italian sausage, uh, which gives it a little bit of a nice heat. If you uh, just like sweet, you could use sweet or original. Um, add a little bit of red pepper flakes to this to kick it up just a little bit if you want. So I'm gonna add a can, a large can, which is 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there. And then two cans of uh, tomato sauce. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Maybe a quarter of a cup. All right, we're gonna mix that all in. I'm gonna lower this to medium because I don't want the salsa splattering everywhere. And we're gonna simmer this uh, while we're doing the uh, ricotta filling. All right, I'm gonna check for seasoning. See if the seasoning is good. That's really good. Mm. I'm gonna add some more pepper and salt. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Um, I think it's better for you. But you guys can use kosher. Do your salt and pepper to your taste. Okay, at this point, I'm going to do maybe, maybe a teaspoon of the uh, tomato paste. I don't like my sauce sweet uh, at all, so I don't add a lot of tomato paste. Um, it, did, it does give it a nice richness to it, but like I said, I don't like it sweet, so I don't add a lot. It's perfect. Perfect. All right. And I'll put our fresh uh, parsley and basil in there, which smells so good. The basil. I would put it around my house. <laughs> All right. Give it a nice little stir. And our meat sauce is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to partially cover this and I'm going to lower it to a medium low and I'm going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes and we're going to go over there and work on our filling. This is how we're going to put our ricotta filling together. Before I do this real quick, I just want to show you uh, what I did with the pasta. So you might need some uh, kitchen shears. You might have to cut them uh, to conform with whatever pan that you guys are using to make your lasagna in. So all you do is, when you're done cooking the pasta, make sure you rinse it in really cold water and um, then separate it and lay it on a, a flat sheet or surface. If you don't do this step, it's gonna be squished up and it's not gonna be uh, nice and flat. So cool water and then just lay them out on some kind of sheet um, until you guys are ready to use it. And you could put a, uh, a wet, damp uh, cloth over it and it'll keep it uh, moist for you guys. So that's all I did there. And then again, you might need some uh, kitchen shears just to cut them to size, depending on whatever baking dish you guys are using. And that's it for the pasta. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do is, I crack my egg first because I like to pre-mix it. So you're gonna just uh, do your two eggs. And 
go ahead and give that a nice uh, whisk. Just breaking it up just a little bit. We're going to mix it and incorporate it anywho. But I like to just give it a, you know, quick little uh, start. And that's it for the egg. We're going to put our ricotta cheese in there. Slippery little things, aren't they? All right, so I'm gonna just mix this just a little bit so that when we mix everything, it doesn't uh, fling the egg out. Okay, we're gonna do salt and pepper. Don't do a lot of salt, okay? Because the Parmigiano Reggiano has a lot of salt in it and it will make your filling unbearable with the salt. Yeah, um, I've done it before. My daughter still to this day doesn't let me live it down. My younger one. So just a pinch of salt. Because trust me, this is salty. You just really want the salt to bring out the flavors. That's really all it's for. You're gonna add your Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm gonna add half of this but I'll always put the ingredients and measurements in the description box. And then your parsley. And then just give it a nice mix without flinging it and spilling it like I like to do. Probably should have used a different spoon. So just kind of, you know, uh, fold it over. And just get it nice and incorporated with everything in the egg. And that's it, guys. That's, that's your filling right there. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to clean up and I am going to set up everything so that we could put this together and have some fun. So we're back to put it all together, guys. Okay, guys, so I have everything set up. I have our meat sauce we made, our Parmigiano Reggiano. I have some fresh basil that I'm going to use to chop up and uh, put on top when we're done. And then the uh, ricotta mix right here, our fresh mozzarella. That's it. So all you're going to do is... We're gonna first start with some of this delicious meat sauce. And you don't want too much, um, so I'm gonna just spread it around and basically this is just so it doesn't stick. That looks great. And you're gonna take your noodles. And like I said, you might have to use your scissors to um, cut them to fit whatever size pan you're using. Or a baking dish. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna overlap each noodle. So see how I've overlapped each noodle just a little bit? Maybe a half an inch. Perfect. Okay, so once your sauce is down and your noodles is down, you're going to put some ricotta filling. Depending on how much you guys want. My husband hates and I use that word uh, freely because he absolutely hates uh, ricotta cheese. But you cannot have lasagna without it, I say. This is the glue that holds it together. Um, I've tried making it for him without it. Um, it's dry. I mean, it's not a lasagna at, at all. So 
He'll be fine. He won't know how much I put in here until after he sees this video. Now, I do make another one uh, different for my daughter because she's another picky eater and she won't eat a sauce with any meat or anything in it. So either I strain it for her, believe it or not, or I um, will just make her a separate sauce. I have a lot of picky eaters in this house. So I have to accommodate everybody. But I'm not putting it on too thick. Um, and it'll be fine once it's cooked. So just spread your um, filling all over your noodles. You're kind of like painting it, if you will. Uh, Rexy Picasso over here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because once it bakes and it all mends together and... It'll be delicious. That's all that matters, right? All right, so once that's done, we're gonna put a little bit of the parmigiano Reggiano on it. Just a little bit. And then you're gonna take your cheese. You're gonna put it on there like that. I probably could have sliced these thinner but nobody's gonna complain about all this delicious cheese. And it's gonna melt, and it's gonna melt all together. Once the uh, Parmesan and then the uh, mozzarella cheese is in there like that, we're gonna go ahead and put more of this meat sauce on. And it smells so good in here, guys. I can't even tell you. Now, depending on how many layers you guys want to make your lasagna, um, will just depend on how many times you repeat the step. I'm making another one. Um, We're going to do another layer. Finish your last layer. You're gonna take a little bit, uh, just so that the tops doesn't dry out. You're gonna put it on top, and then just spread it out. Just to keep it a little bit wet. Looks pretty good. Perfect. And then this is the last step. You're just going to take your um, mozzarella cheese. I'm going to have to go and uh, open up another one and cut it, maybe. Now, nah, we'll, there's so much cheese in here. Just share the love over here. Don't have to be perfect. It's going to... Uh, melt. Yeah, definitely don't cut your uh, cheese as big and fat as I did mine. Sitting here playing with the lasagna. I promise my hands are clean. Okay, so let me wash my hands real quick. Alright, at this point, all you're going to do is you're going to take uh, your Parmigiano Reggiano, sprinkle it right on top, however much you guys want. And 
making a mess. I didn't need the scissors. I might need it for the smaller tray. And then you're just going to take, um, it smells so good, some fresh basil and just sprinkle it on top. And it'll look really pretty once it's baked. Okay, so again, 375. We're going to bake it for 20 minutes. And we'll check it out after 20 minutes. And we'll look at it together when it's all done. So we're back, guys. I know, I know. It's, it's pretty delicious looking and sexy and all kinds of good stuff. So this needs to sit for at least 15 minutes. Um, you should never cut into a lasagna soon as you pull it out of the oven because it will become a mushy mess. It needs to uh, set. So we're going to let this sit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm really excited and happy to be back uh, cooking for you guys. Grumpy old gringo, I hope you enjoyed this video. This lasagna was for you. I will uh, let you know how it was. I'm sure it's delicious. Thank you guys again for all your love and support. It means the world to me. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm truly uh, grateful to have you guys all in my life. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.